Hello there, Cancers. Welcome. So um, when I was shuffling out this spread, I saw an interesting scene. It's like at the Colosseum, you know, the, the gladiator Colosseum type of imagery. I see this man. He's on a chariot. And I think there were, let me see, three horses pulling the chariot. He's got his, you know, Roman gladiator outfit on. He's got like a sword and he has like some type of war paint on his chest. And, you know, the, the scene is just like very gruesome, very uh, bloodthirsty, very, um, it, it's, it's like very tense. So he's, he's like on his chariot circling around and he's like, who's next? Who's going to, you know, challenge me? And then, so it, it's just like highly intensified, a lot of testosterone, a lot of um, tension. The door opens and uh, this woman, she's wearing a white dress. She looks very innocent and she steps out and he charges at her in his chariot and she doesn't even bat an eye. She's not scared. She just stands there like she's not afraid, like she knows he's not going to, you know, run her over. And then when he gets really close to her, he realizes that she's not really budging. And so he has to make a really sharp turn with his chariot. And so the whole chariot kind of topples over. He rolls onto the ground and then he comes towards her like very upset. But as he got closer and closer and closer to her, he start, he, he, he stopped getting angry and upset. And so that's how it ended. So I don't know for some of you, I feel like you could be the, the man on that chariot for others of you. You're like the woman. And, you know, regardless of whatever gender you are, you could be the embodiment of that really masculine, testy type of energy, or you can be the embodiment of that really um, sweet, pure, innocent, and, you know, calming energy in that woman, okay? So I feel like it's, I can't figure out which one you are, but I feel like there is a, a an, an interesting it's like a juxtaposition, two energies, two opposing forces that are very different from one another. But somehow there is a meeting halfway happening this month. And then I also feel like there is a spirit of competition as well. Okay, so let me just um, talk about the cards a little bit um, before I get too sidetracked. So the first thing here... Um, I feel like there is a, a situation here where it, it's like a winner takes all. Um, it started out as a friendly competition and it, it could be, you know, like a love situation, whereas there's a friendly, complimentary, friendly banter, friendly flirtation back and forth. And for some reason, it's, it's you know how if you like somebody and you're not really sure how they feel about you, right? So you kind of test the waters a little bit. And you kind of make fun of them and then they kind of make fun of you. And then, you know, um, the conversation inevitably goes from platonic into a little bit more, um, I want to say as well, sexual. But then I also feel like it's it's very platonic. And then it, it becomes a little bit more personal. And then all of a sudden, you know how they feel about you. They know how to feel you feel about them. And then everything just accelerates really, really fast. That's what I feel is happening here. There is an, a major acceleration of a situation. And I feel like you might be dealing with someone who has a lot of suitors. And you feel like winner takes all. I have to find out how this is going to play out. Uh, otherwise, somebody might take the person away. That's what I'm feeling. And then I feel another situation where there's a lot of communication. A lot of communication. But it never gets past the platonic stage because you're too afraid to escalate the communication. And what I have here is the eight of wands. This is the, you know, the arrows of love. If you um, think back of the Rider Waite imagery, eight of wands, this is like a lot of fast communication, a lot of conversations through, you know, text messages, Skype, uh, emails, whatever it is. It's not so much face to face. This is what I call talking about every single topic under the sun, 
Okay, but then avoiding the topics that we want to talk about, which is, you know, does this person like me? Do you like me? How do you feel about me? And so I feel like you're not able to take it past that friend zone. You're not able to escalate things um, past that platonic threshold. And there's going to be something happening this month to allow a door of opening. We have here the Wheel of Fortune in order for you to be able to show somebody how you really feel about them. Making a gesture. There's a little crab here. You guys are very, very shy. You guys are really shy, especially Cancerian men. Um, you, you guys are incredibly shy. And what's really interesting is everything that you feel underneath the shyness, the insecurities, the uh, trepidation, the, you know, butterflies in your stomach, you never show it. So on the surface, and I, I, I honestly um, can't speak to Cancerian women, but I feel like Cancerian men in particular are extremely shy. And, but then no one would be able to tell by your face, you know, just look, by looking at you. They definitely, if they're a little bit more observant, they can tell by your body language. You're going to shift your weight from one, um, you know, uh, from one feet to the, the other. You're going to kind of like uh, step away from a person when you're shy. Um, you might do like the whole, you know, shifting your, your, your feet like moving one feet behind the other when you're shy and looking at the ground even, looking at your feet. So I feel like many of you are really, really shy. You want to take the next step in a situation. You want to move it along, but you're, you haven't been able to or things just never got past that friend stage. And there is going to be an opportunity to allow you to do that, to allow you an opportunity to, to show somebody or to declare to somebody or to prove to somebody that you really, really care about them. OK. Um, in the work environment, what I have here is some really, really good news. Financial abundance. Hard work really paying off. Finishing a project, allowing an opportunity for things to come to fruition. Things are in full bloom right now. There's a lot of opportunities for projects that you can grab up. I also feel opportunities for overtime. I also feel like just um, a lot of financial stability. So hard work really pays off. And you're, I, I feel like many of you are going through, you know, taking your work really, really seriously, studying things, taking it very seriously to the point where you're putting in the extra hours in order to get your work done. And all of it is definitely being noticed. So I do see, you know, just really, really good things coming in in the work environment. I also feel like you might have uh, crushes. Since you're spending so much time at work, you might be developing feelings or having a crush on somebody possibly in the work environment as well. I see some people who might be students as well going to school, um, you know, doing the coursework and then having to do group work and, and falling for somebody like a classmate. OK, um, so there is definitely escalation, things moving very, very quickly. And for those who are single, I feel like there's really good opportunities, especially in February, to meet the right person. What's coming in for you here? We have the two of cups. This is really beautiful. So this card is love, but I also think of it as, you know, like a, a very strong soul connection that we have with another person. Um, so here's the thing. I see a really strong earth sign, earth type of energy. Okay, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who's very, very serious. It's almost like very determined. It's like that guy on the chariot. He's just like, um, who's next? What's next? Who's coming out? And he, he doesn't waste time. He's very productive. He's very serious minded, very stubborn. Um, and I also feel, you know, the embodiment of this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. I see a very strong Taurian type of energy. This is somebody who's very no nonsense. They, they, they go through life in such a very, in such a serious manner. 
that might be why it's hard for you to, you know, uh, have non-platonic conversations with them. Okay, like if you when you talk to them, everything is very serious. So it's it's really hard to have a lighthearted conversation, and it's really hard to flirt with them. It's really hard to tease them. It's really hard to really like um, understand where they're coming from, even. And I do feel like if you're dealing with this person, there's definitely mutual reciprocity. This person is so serious that they wouldn't talk to you unless they like you. It's like their time. It, I see somebody who's like, time is money. I need to get things done. I'm, uh, they're super productive. And so they don't really waste time. They don't mince words. They're just very forward. So because they're like this, you also have to think, you know, why are they spending like, um, you know, several hours texting me back and forth? It's because they like you. Otherwise, they wouldn't waste the time. And so I feel like if you're dealing with somebody like this, they definitely do like you. And all it takes, honestly, is for you to show your intention. I don't see this person showing their intentions or making the first move. I feel like you're the one that has to show them. Okay, and then they'll slow down. And then they'll acknowledge this connection. They already feel it, I feel. They they already feel like you have a really strong hold on them. And they already sense that there's something special with the bond between the two of you. It could be the, the emotional connection. But honestly, <clears throat> water signs are just such great listeners that if somebody is um, talking to you a lot, they've already felt that emotional connection. So if you like them, you you just need to, you know, let them know. And then I'm also seeing somebody, and this could be you, especially if you have been, you know, the, the person, and only if, especially if you've been the person, where you've gone through a lot of relationships, and you might not have taken a relationship seriously, or you might not have taken somebody's feelings for you seriously. I see a situation where you are kind of slowing down, okay, it, <clears throat> and I feel some people... It, it, um, Cancerian people kind of um, there's like a player energy forgive me for saying but like you're going through life living like this the fool collecting experiences collecting partners even and I don't see like this being a big majority of you guys but I feel it's almost like you know you're 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 wanting to find that perfect fit you're wanting to find that person who is right for you and I feel like someone is showing their emotions or their feelings for you. And it's stopping you dead in your tracks. It's stopping you dead in your tracks. And you're slowing down. And you're looking at this person. And you're just like, wait a minute, I feel the same way too. Something is, is making you stop and to think and to really explore a relationship. And I see many of you, you're starting to see that this person is serious and you're starting to see, it, it's, it's like you're looking back and you're looking at all their actions in the past, the, the cumulative impact of all of their actions. And you're like, oh my God, they really care about me. They're not somebody to tell you, you know, um, this energy, this earth energy, they do things. If you're sick, they're not going to call you and, and say like, hey, um, how are you feeling? Um, they'll, they'll, they'll probably, you know, drop food off at your door or, you know, they'll, they won't ask how you're feeling. They'll just be like, is there anything I can do for you? Because that's what they do. They do things. They don't sit there and talk about things. And I feel like in the past, you might not have fully acknowledged or might not have fully appreciated the effort that they put in. But I feel like something is happening this month for you to really stop and take this situation seriously because I see you kind of like this, the emperor. He's not the most romantic type of a person, okay? He can seem a little bit cold, but I feel like with this deck, he's looking at the two of cups. He's acknowledging 
a, a reciprocity in emotions and feelings. He's feeling a little bit like with this energy, it's like he, he's feeling the safety in it. And he's finally acknowledging that, you know what, this is something that is very serious. And so I'm not going to treat it <clears throat> lightly. I'm going to put more effort in. I'm going to try to do the right thing by this person. And I'm going to try my best to really reciprocate for this person. So I feel like for some of you, this is your energy. For others, it could be the other person that you're dealing with. But I feel like it's for you Cancerians. Um, if there has been a situation where that you've been running away from because it might be too overwhelming, you're stopped in your tracks and you're looking at somebody and I feel like they're making some type of a declaration of love or emotions for you and I feel like you know very strong earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn so that's what I'm, I'm getting here um, for those who are single please get out there start dating and um, you know really make your feelings known to another person I see this shyness about you where topics everything under the Sun is being discussed but I feel like the, the important things that you want to ask, you kind of shy away from it. You're waiting, biding your time. You're biding the, the, you're just like, I need a sign. I need a sign. I need a signal. And I feel like you're going to get your signal. You're going to get your, your, your clear sign. And then even after getting it, you're still too shy to say or to, you know, approach the person. That's what I'm feeling. So aiming to be a little bit more directed and, and clear with our communication. We have to speak up in order to ask for what we want. And we have to speak up when it comes to expressing ourselves because there's a really strong connection here. And it's just, you know, it's definitely being felt mutually. It just needs to be brought into the light and it needs to be talked about, okay? In terms of your advice, we have here the devil, and we have, this is the page of cups, expressing your feelings. So um, what I am seeing here, I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with another person, like I said, um, someone who's very serious, okay? They're very career ladder oriented. They're very um, interested in getting ahead. And I also feel like, you know, no matter how busy they are, they have always made sure they were available for you. They've always been there for you. And I also feel for many of you, this might be like a really strong friendship, like a very uh, dear friend that you've had around you whose presence is very stable, who has always been there. And I feel like they, they might secretly um, like you. But once again, it, it's really hard to transition from that friendship into a love relationship. But I feel like they, you, you've got a secret admirer here, someone who's really, really, really interested in you. And it's not just physical attraction. It very well could be, but I don't feel like it's just physical attraction. It's not like, you know, I, I feel like the, the emotions run really deep with this person. And I also see the shyness coming from the, that person. And I see them as someone who gets a lot of things done in their lives. They have a lot of, um, they might be as well, uh, very well traveled. I see somebody with darker skin and dark hair. Okay, someone who looks so very exotic. Um, it's weird because I'm sensing that for not everybody, but for most of you Cancerian people, you might be, you might have the lighter features, you know, not everyone, but like either lighter hair, lighter skin or lighter eyes. And then the other person is in like opposition to that. They might have darker hair, darker skin, darker eyes. So there is this coming together of like an opposite type of energy and it looks really beautiful so make your feelings known and definitely i feel like somebody's making some type of a confession this month in order to move a relationship past that um you know friend zone okay so that is all i have for you